Good morning, Greece. Welcome to Zeus's News, the show that brings you all of the news from the heavens. First, we go to the sky soon from Helios, the sun god, in his heavenly castle. He's speaking to us today about an, a tragic accident involving his son, Phaethon, and the golden chariot. We are at the sudden crash of poor mortal Phaethon. It must be so devastating for his immortal father, Helios. Phaethon asked Helios, the god of the sun, to ride his bright chariot across the sky for a day. Helios told us that he promised Pat Phaethon whatever he wished, and regrettingly he had to say yes, since he, wore, he swore by the river Styx. Since Phaethon is immortal, he could not live forever like his father. Helios watched as his son stumbled and fell to his death. His sad daughters are so upset that Zeus has turned them into poplar trees with tears of golden amber. After this terrible accident, Helios might never let anyone ride his chariot except for Apollo, god of light, obviously. The sun may not be as bright anymore. Now for a commercial break. Stay tuned for more Greek news. Are you tired of your crops dying? Well, don't worry anymore. Just get the Demeter dial. You can type in the password C-E-R-E-S and Demeter will be on her way to your crops. If you can't wait for her to come, don't worry. You should get the Express Demeter dial. She'll take you as her first customer and be there in less than a week seconds. Only 20 drachmas for the Express and 15 drachmas for the regular. Don't wait. Dial now with the Demeter dial. We're back to some Greek news. Now listen as we talk to Helios the Sun in this interview. So, Helios, you told us earlier that you didn't want to let your son, Phaethon, ride your sun chariot. How did you feel about finally letting him do it? I really didn't want him to ride my chariot, but he would not let it go. I am terribly devastated about this accident. I will regret it forever. I love, just love my son so much, it was too hard to say no. He was so confident and happy to try. Very interesting. I'm sorry for your loss. Last question. We heard your chariot was broken in the accident. How will you repair it so soon? Well, Hephaestus is so kind, he is willing to fix it for me. Actually, he is repairing it right now. You know, I must go. It's too sad to talk about Faith Young anymore. Goodbye. Oh, um, goodbye, and thank you for your time. I guess that's all with us for some Greek news. Poor Phaethion, what a tragedy. And now, for more Wrath on the Gods, let's visit the Enchanted Forest. We'll get the inside scoop on that cranky goddess, Artemis, and the poor mortal who was caught spying on her. Hello, we, we are, are here on, on Zeus's news. news. We have some breaking news for you. The goddess Artemis turned someone into a stag, a.k.a. a deer. Now, let's go talk with Artemis at the crime scene. Artemis, can you tell us the details? What happened? So, I was just doing the usual hunting. Then, I decided to wash off. Then suddenly, this man appears. And as you know, I am not a big fan, fan of men. So my first reaction was to turn him into a stag. Why did you decide to turn him into an animal? So he couldn't tell anybody what he had seen, of course. Now I hear, Actaeon's pack of dogs just didn't recognize him and it attacked him. What was your reaction to this? As you know, I am a cold and pitiless goddess, so I have absolutely no sympathy, sympathy, and now he for sure won't be able to tell anyone. Wow, what a story. Just amazing. Well, that's all we have, so see you next time on Zeus is News. Thank you. What a wild story. Look out, people. Do not mess with Artemis. And now, let's take it to Caroline and Haley with the weather. Hello, it's Haley and I here today on Zeus's News, the Greek news channel for the day. Now, Haley, our weather professional. Hello there, Helios is bringing more light than last week. We are looking temperatures around 85 degrees, making for a wonderful day. Sounds great. <gasps> oh my gosh, breaking news with some drama with Pandora. Evil spirits are rushing everywhere. Watch out. Hold your horses, Caroline. We need to start with the basics. Do you remember our old friend, Prometheus, who gave us fire and we made us humans? Oh, of course. Would that equal Zeus and after his liver for stealing the fire from Olympus? Who wouldn't? Well, looks like his brother Epimetheus took a very dashing lady for his wife from Zeus. I heard that Hephaestus made Pandora, the new wife of Epimetheus, in the likeness of Aphrodite. Then, Athena gave her life, and Zeus gave her curiosity, along with the box he said never to open. 
Tales tell that the box holds evils like scolding, deceit, despair, accusation, envy, lies, fibs, distrust, old age, gossip, scheming, drudgery, and at the bottom of a box, a small one, hope. Pandora's curiosity is getting worse and worse. She needs to open the box. This is getting too much for her. Epimetheus warned her not to, but did she listen? Uh-oh, sad news. She opened the box, which will cause the death of all humans. But as soon as she opened the box, she was scared and closed it. In doing so, she saved all of us. Now we still have hope, but the evils are still flying around. Watch out! Zeus is furious. What's he going to do? Uh-oh, looks like our sun just turned into storms. Big ones! What's going to happen to us humans? What will we do? Lock yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. This will take a while. As always, stay with us to learn more on this astonishing development as we continue on Zeus's News. We'll be right after the break, so stay tuned. Did Hermes really create the fair layer, or is it a copy? Think about it. Does Apollo really like his cows, or is he just making a fuss for attention? Did Hades really kidnap Persephone for his queen wife, or did he do it to annoy Demeter? Think about it. Did Demeter really just let her daughter wander around far away? Think about it. Think about it. Go to thinkaboutit.com for more jaw-dropping questions. Is your kid having trouble swimming like this? Well, introducing new swim lessons with Poseidon. Get them Mondays through Wednesdays in the Ionian Sea. And it's only 499 drachmas. Have you ever wanted to meet the gods? Well, come to the god meet and greet. It's only 1,000 drachmas. Go to meetthegods.com for more information. Call now at 203 Meet the Gods to get a one of a time offer, which is to be first in line. Don't forget, you have to say the code GODS. Let's go meet the gods! We're back with some happy news about Pandora. Looks like us humans will live. Though life will be tough, we still have hope. We only have hope because Pandora let hope fly out. But Zeus is planning a flood. But don't worry, that's the story for tomorrow. Wow, thanks for nothing, Pandora. Next, our trusty reporter Jackie investigated the kidnapping of Persephone. Hi, it's Jackie with an exclusive interview with Demeter. Seeing is believing, so let's go see Demeter. Hi, I'm Demeter, as you all know. Demeter makes the weather, and a chilling coldness is watching over the city of Athens. Why is this? Persephone, Demeter's daughter, was captured by an unknown person. I'll be back soon with an interview with the real Demeter and more info on this breaking news on Zeus's News. Look at that girl, so beautiful. What's your secret? Aphrodite's lotion. It makes you look a whole five years younger. That must cost a lot. That's the best part. Aphrodite lotion only costs six droplets. Plus, if you call 914-506-8934, in the next five minutes, you get two bottles of Aphrodite lotion and for the price of one. Six dollars for the for two bottles of the best stuff? I can't miss that. Call call and get your Aphrodite lotion today. I'm back. Again, the meter is making it unusually cold outside, for her daughter Persephone has been captured by an unknown person. Let's go find out the details with an exclusive interview with the meter herself. Now Demeter, how did you feel when you found out about your precious daughter Persephone? When I found out I was devastated. Hermes, the messenger god, told me a few hours after she was captured. And I was furious at first, but then I calmed down. And I got more focused on finding her than blaming others for doing something. I wasn't even sure that they did after a while. Devastation called a sudden cold chilling weather spreading around Greece. You heard it, folks. Spread the word and spread the investigation. Speaking of the investigation, I heard Persephone's investigation is going very well. The latest news is that Zeus has narrowed it down to Hades and Cronus, who could have been Persephone's capture. Cronus could have been seeking revenge after having, after being overthrown by the mighty Zeus and making it freezing cold and capturing Persephone could have been his way of getting revenge. Hades, on the other hand, is just that person who would drag someone down to the underworld for fun. That is all true. I remember when I heard the ten suspects that could have captured Persep my precious daughter. I'm thankful that Zeus for all the work he has done and everyone else who's helping on the investigation. I wish you the best of luck in finding for finding your daughter. 
Oh, poor Persephone. If we have learned anything, it's not to trust Hades. For our next story, our reporters bring us an interesting story about a new goddess, Athena, who recently jumped out of her father Zeus's head. I'm Nova Ransomar. And I'm Bella Nardis. And, and we're, we're here, here with great news. New goddess, Athena, just sprang from Zeus's head. I'll tell you how this happened right after this short commercial break. Ever want to create an earthquake? Uh, yeah. Then buy your Poseidon Tridents now. Only $99.99 drop us. Free shipping and handling. Hermes delivery. Get the order double for the price of one fifty. Limited time only. So, back to the big meal. Zeus ate Metis. A very smart goddess. Because he thought it would make him smarter. Little did he know that she was pregnant. All of a sudden, Zeus had a pounding headache, then Hephaestus. A very sweet god. Came to the rescue. Super god! Hephaestus sliced open Zeus's head, and out came Athena. A very wise goddess. Fully grown. She was walking around to his head. No wonder he had a pounding headache. Now Athena is Zeus's favorite child. She's the goddess of the arts, weaving, fair battles, battle strategy, and wisdom. Thank you very much, Nova. Earlier this morning, Zeus has flooded Greece. Eleven million dead, but two remain alive. We cannot say more than that. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Zeus's News! Wow, no wonder Zeus had such a headache. And now, here's a scoop about that trickster Hermes. We are here with breaking news. A Greek god with the name of Hermes, a newborn child, is being accused of stealing his own brother's cows. Let's see what Apollo has to say about this. This should be interesting. Apollo, what are your feelings about this matter? Now, as you all know, I have some deep feelings about my cats. And for that child to deliberately steal my cows is outrageous. That son of a titan. Are you sure about this? Yes, I'm super duper sure. After the break, we shall see what Hermes has to say about this. And our last story this morning returns to the enchanted forest where the poor nymph Echo is wandering lonely. Hello, I'm Phoebe the Titaness, reporting live from the Enchanted Forest. And I'm Julia. We are reporting on the inside scoop of Echo's missing voice and the disappearance of Narcissus. According to our sources, Echo, the forest nymph, was super chatty one day. Unfortunately, she went on and on to Hera about a very long and boring story. Hera was on the hunt for Zeus and did not want to be detained by Echo. But Echo would not stop talking. It isn't like Hera has great patience, but even so, it was pretty cruel what she did next. Hera cursed Echo, and now Echo can no longer form her own words. She's no longer a chatty Cathy. Stay tuned for more after this commercial break. Do I see an ugly girl over there with a double chin and wrinkly skin? She should use Afro cream. It made me gorgeous. You can fix all that with the new Afro cream. Look young and ageless, just like Aphrodite herself. Only $9.99 at <laughs> Artemis' Target. I use Afrocrine and I don't have skin wrinkles, ugly skin, a double chin, or even an afro! Meanwhile, once Echo lost her voice, she wandered around the woods and found a handsome boy named Narcissus. Since Echo was only allowed to repeat words that someone had already said, she had to wait until Narcissus said something. Finally, the right moment came. While Narcissus was gazing at his own reflection in the pond, he whispered, I love you. At last, Echo was able to repeat, I love you. Narcissus was gazing at his reflection and fell in love with himself. He could, he could not look away. He, star, he stared at long, so long that he wanted to touch the beautiful reflection. But when he reached to touch it, Narcissus fell in. Poor guy, he couldn't swim. He probably never had a lesson with Poseidon. Narcissus may have been dead, but the nymphs felt so sad that they turned him into a beautiful white flower, and poor Echo was destined to wa wander the hills forever. Thank you for listening to our breaking news on Echo and Narcissus. We are back, live at Hermes Cave, and Hermes is here. Now we will get both sides of the story. So Hermes, how's your day been so far? Good, except being accused of stealing cows. I mean, I'm just a newborn. Yes, but right now you need to explain every single teeny tiny detail on what happened last night. Okay. First I was born, then I... No, we mean from the night when it happened. Fine. I was at home in my mom's cave. We were eating dinner when I, when I... Hermes, are you okay? <laughs> Let's give him a minute. I really hope I don't get fired for this. Okay, fine. I might have stolen 
on them, okay? And led them out of the pasture backwards to confuse him. And also put bark on their hooves to disguise their prints. And also tied broom to their tails so they can wash away their own prints. And also tied branches to my feet to disguise them even more because I didn't want to be accused. Boy, you're smart. Okay, so there's the real story. Wait a minute. Why are there only 48 cows? I might have made some of them into a beautiful musical instrument. What? Well, anyway, that's all we have for today about Apollo's cows on Zeus's News. We're friends, right? Duh. Here, oh yeah. Here's the wand. Thanks! <laughs> and that's our show. We hope you enjoyed it. See you next time on Zeus's